And um, I apologize a little bit rather than quite an attention trying to work out everything in order to get this started. Um, and I'm very excited about the transition I'm hoping we will get into. We're going to start out with the first I'm going to introduce to the flag from the United States of America, the Jewish Republic of Poland, which expands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, now we have a silence. It was a long time ago in terms of the challenges that we have today. The fact that most what is really about this country alone um, to this virus, amongst all the other things that are happening in the world. So let's take a moment to ask this. All those less fortunate than us. Now, I think you guys to take a moment of silence and really think about all the wonderful things that you have in your life, the holiday season, with our friends and family, and um, think about the fact that we did it. So well, let's take that moment and rejoice in the time. Okay, okay so we're having our um we're gonna um cross off the obsession for this particular next time we get to go. Um moving forward, I want to move um to our current board reports. Um I will have a call um, to you, and I'll speak of you a little bit later on in the evening. But I'd like for you guys to go ahead and say what you would like to say about being on the council and what you might want to share with the council elects in the room right now. Um, council yes. I didn't hear what you said. Say it again. I would I said, can you give a report on uh, your experience on the council and uh, anything recent and anything that you'd like to share with um, the council that's coming in? Okay, give a council ward report, right? Yes. Okay, good evening all. This is a different Christmas. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? If everyone can mute who was not muted, that would help. There's some noise in the background. Cynthia needs to mute. Call it two, three, four, I need to mute. The man needs to mute. Ready now? There we go. Thank you. Thank you. This is a different one. So please check with your neighbors. If you have any extra dinner left over, give someone next door a blessing. The Christmas decoration looks lovely this year, but please let's be careful that we don't overload our cords causing fires. Also check on your Christmas trees, the live trees, make sure they're not dry. Please be mindful of checking on your space heaters also. I wanna say thank you to Mr. and Mrs. K. They delivered Christmas cookies to the citizens in our ward this year. And the toys for top boxes at our town hall, please bring an unwrapped toy for the toy drive for the children in our community. Our police have masks in case someone needs one. Please lock your car doors and remove all your valuables. If you see something, say something. 
The Christmas meals are also available for anyone at the town hall on Christmas Day. It's a grab and go. I want to say congratulations to the new council members. Please stay in touch with the citizen. I look forward to working with you all. And, and Council Member Jackson, Bowden, Mendoza, and the mayor, I just want to say it's been a pleasure working with all of you. And I wish everyone a happy and a safe holiday. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, um, Council Member Blue. Can we hear from Council Member Bowden? Can you unmute? Can you hear me now? Council Member Bowden? Okay. okay, we can hear you now. Oh, I'd like to uh, congratulate you. We still have people leaving uh, their trash out the whole weekend, their bulk trash, and people still speeding down on 40th Street. I'm not gone. I'm still going to be uh, working with the uh, recreation of council. That's all I have to say. Hello? Okay, Council Member, Council Member Jackson. Um, yes. Yeah. It, it has been a pleasure. Um, it has been a pleasure, pleasure of serving the residents of the town of Comer Manor. This job was humble. It was challenging. It also was a learning experience. I really enjoyed it. Um, it taught me a lot. I learned a lot about people. Um, I can say uh, congratulations to all the newly elected officials. Um, I am here. If you need anything from me, I'm here. My doors are my phone's always my doors are open, and my phone is always available. But I, one thing I can say to you, <laughs> I can say to you is just. Try to um, keep in contact with all your residents. A lot of things they would talk about. I know as being elected official, you come in and you, you want to think about the budget and the um, any type of improvement you can do in town. But because we're on the ground level, we deal with a lot of things that um, dealing that people can see as far as visual, as far as with the trash, um, as far as with um, the cats. Um, I can say to all of you coming in, please have a thick skin. Um, you are going to, you may get attacked, but please do not take it personal. Sometimes people may be going through things. Um, but I wish you all the best and I really enjoy working with the council. We, we may have disagreed when we were at that table, but I can tell you by the time we leave, Ms. Jackson will be asking for one for a ride home. So I hope that the council moving forward can work together as well as we did. And I wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you so much for those awesome words. Um, now, Council Member Mendoza, you want to speak later or you want to speak now or you want to speak both? Now and later. I'll, I'll speak later. Right. All right, so I'm moving on to the mayor's report. Um, and basically, I want to report a uh, number one. I, I want to um, appreciate hardly our election judges who um, it was not always easy to get election judges this year. I mean, it was something challenging for people. And, um, and so I'm so very, very thankful for the great job they did. I want to thank everybody who came out and voted in the election. Um, I got to give out a big, big shout out to Chief um, Stone. Um, he definitely coordinated and held all, pulled all this together. He's so much more than a chief here in Como Manor. And I appreciate him thoroughly um, for everything that he does. Um, month has been, I mean, Thanksgiving, um, we did it um, um, on Zoom with my daughter, Em. 
And each of us were in our own homes and we did our Zoom thing for a few minutes and everything. So it was really wonderful um, to spend the time together. I want to urge everybody, this is so important, is that we do learn how to be distant, um, even from those we love and those that we care about. Um, I was just saying earlier that um, Governor Cuomo mentioned that 74% of those getting COVID in New York um, at this point are coming between friends and family. And the idea that someone's your friend, your blood, or your family does not stop them from getting COVID um, when they go out and they're with their friends who are not your friends and otherwise who you don't know. So a big part of this last month has really been about watching that, uh, watching the presidential election. Um, we, are, we get reports from the state, um, usually weekly, sometimes bi-weekly, on what the state, which is primarily about COVID. And we also get um, reports from the county um, periodically um, in relationship to what's going on. And so uh, I want to, everybody, I want to thank the candidates uh, most of all. Um, I'm very excited about us moving forward. This will be challenging for all of us, and I want to say it up front, so be patient um, with me. This is the first time that we've had more than one seat change on the council since 2000. So it's been 20 years um, for us to have this level of um, transition to happen. At the same time, I'm very, very excited of the diversity of the group. Um, I think it'll be amazing to see how we all work because we all gather here and hearing all different, different um, uh, strains of life or from, from so this is going to be really awesome. To the council, um, the current council, how much I have completely enjoyed working with you all. Um, we um, we have worked well together. But we just had to vote, and then we and um, and never never held a grudge um, from ever. And I'm together, and that's that's really an awesome thing. I want to thank y'all all for everything that you've done um, for the community, and I want to continue to work with you in the community um, going forward. And I would like to ask now if um, I know I see I have Delegate Fennell on, and I think I might have Senator um, Augustine on, and I wonder if you guys want to say something to our outgoing council, and then later on when we get to the swearing in to our incoming council. Depending on how long you can stay on with us, but we're not going to take too long. So, Councilman, I mean, um, Delegate Finnell, would you like to say something? Yes, thank you so much, Mayor um, Barrow. Can you mute? Okay. First of all, let me just say what an outstanding job um, that council members have done. And it's going to continue to do that is going out because, as you know, we all live here and I know they're going to do a phenomenal job and continue to to educate the new members, new elected ones that's coming in because I know and blue did it for me. Council member blue did it for me and happy birthday. Hon. Um, so, I just want to say I'm here in Coma Manor. I'm going to see you all. Um, um, one of the things I know the senator and I will probably be doing, I know he's going to speak after me, but I want to make sure that you all receive a proclamation mail to your home since we have to do social distancing um, to the outgoing council members for your job and your performance of many years to the town of Coma Manor. So thank you so much for your service and not only for your service, but for your friendship. And congratulations to you all, because guess what? Job well done. Mayor, can you hear me? I can hear you. Hi, 
I, I just wanted to say, you know, congratulations to um, to Councilmember Blue um, and, and Councilmember Jackson and Councilmember Bowden. They, they, you know, they gave so much to the to to the town, and it's just been a real pleasure to work with them. Um, and I just want to say thank you to them for their service and all that they gave uh, to the town. And I know that they're not going away. Um, and we're we're here for for the town. Um, I'm so happy to be here with Delegate Fidel. And we just um, can't say thank you enough for the friendship and the love of, of, of these three outgoing council members. I know for myself personally, and um, just as you know, what they've given to the 47th district. So congratulations, job well done. Um, definitely enjoy the rest and break. I know it's been hard on you and your families. And, and so thank you so much for that sacrifice and for this, the sacrifice of your families as a whole. So thank you so very much. Thank you both. Thank you so much for those words. Thank you so much for those words, those um, kind words. Um, good people, very good people. Um, this is year end. I do want to say happy holidays to everyone. Um, and um, I ask everybody to be safe and, um, and just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy um, life. Life is short. Um, have a good time. Enjoy it. Um, we have been giving out food like crazy here. Um, we give out food at least a couple of um, most of the time, a couple times a week. Um, we've had hot meals. Um, we've been um, able to um, do a lot with the funds that we have from the care package. Um, we have gift cards um, that we've given out to our secure, well as for those we know are in need. Um, we, my, my, the staff done an excellent job, really, of us pitching in and helping with this person and learning who are the people who need help. And um, I'm sure I mentioned that, you know, we've got really high scores on um, the census. Um, being that said, um, we went at 79.5%. We have funds left over, and I had promised a raffle. So, uh, tomorrow, be checking your email. We're going to put out another raffle survey for those of you who did participate. You deserve the reward. These raffles will be between $50 and $300. So I urge everybody to participate. Everybody has participated very well. I cannot believe we put out a message for our um, who wanted to participate in um, our gingerbread house design, and we did. Last year, gingerbread houses here, the place was jam packed. Yeah, everybody had an awesome time. I miss that so much in this building. But um, we put out a text message today. We had 100 responses to yes, they want to participate in the gingerbread houses. And then we put out a response for um, what was the other thing? Um, it, Toys and the puppets. The the, right, the, the, the Christmas, right, who, were, who um, was going to be participating, who wanted toys or um, with Christmas, over 100 responses. I mean, like, before the day is out. And it's really amazing to me. We put out a call that said that we're going to have food to give away and just show up. So um, I'm very happy. The one thing that this pandemic has done is helped us communicate better other and get to know more people better. So when people come here for food, um, the staff is asking them, are they? So we know people who are getting enough and we try to find ways to target and help them. And we're looking forward to continue to do that. Um, I will also ask the council, um, can you agree to as, one of your last actions as a council to accept some gift cards um, to give to people in your wards. I have four cards per council member to give out. Are you good with that? Mayor, this is Council Member Jackson. So I'll go on council to still um, give out to the residents the gift card. 
Okay. Well, y'all can come by anytime this week. Send me a text message. We have Aldi's, we have Save a Lot, and we have Compare Food. So send me a text message on which ones do you want, and um, we'll put some envelopes together by tomorrow afternoon. Okay. All right. And that's my report. So that's my report at this point. And I'm going to move on over on Biden. So on the church, um, basically, give us an idea where we are. All right. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. All right. All right. Um, just brought up on the screen the uh, Treasurer's report for uh, first five months of the current fiscal year. Uh, this is July through November. Uh, first part of the report shows the revenues, which total 774,000. Uh, largest portion of that comes from real estate taxes of 674,239. Uh, most of the other larger revenue sources are coming in where we would expect at this point. Some of them are lagging behind due to processing, such as personal property tax. Uh, the certifications are not coming out as quickly, and we've been told that, you know, the state is behind on those. Uh, we are down on items such as rental income. Uh, as you know, uh, you know, we're, the, the town hall is closed, so, you know, we, we're losing quite a bit of revenue that we would otherwise receive from rentals. We had budgeted 45000 We've only received 1550 to date. And also the red light camera revenue is down quite a bit. I've been working with uh, Tracy and Mr. Wells to try to see if there's an issue with the cameras. The operator seems to say no, that it's COVID related. Um, you know, I'm still working with them on that. But as you can see here, we should be at about 42% collected at this point, which would be about $54,600 of the 130 budgeted. So significantly under budget. Uh, so those are the highlights of the uh, revenue accounts on the expenditure side. Not a whole lot to point out. I'll just go through the total expenditures by department. Uh, the treasurer's report is available at the town hall if you want a copy. Uh, but for general government expenditures, you'd see all the different accounts that we've spent on. Total cost 134411 against $407,000 budget. Under senior van operations, we are operating the van at a reduced capacity uh, during the COVID, uh, but it is running uh, $15,568 in cost against $56,509. Our joint code enforcement officer with Cottage City, total cost $19,170 against $40,515 budget. Public Works, $100,897. Uh, gets a $272,000 budget. Community center town hall operating costs and debt service on the municipal building, $130,245. Gets a $328,000 budget. Uh, public safety, $143,801 versus a $462,000 budget. And the community center operations are 15,433 against the 74,450 budget. Uh, down here, you see our code, our COVID expenses uh, that were incurred this year, 38,928. Uh, this goes against the $89,000 that we've been given from the county. Today was the last day for spending of the $89,000 and uh, you know, we should be in, in good shape or we are in good shape to draw down the full $89,000, uh, making our final uh, requisition request to the county tomorrow. Uh, needs to be in by the 21st, but we'll have it in by then. And, you know, we should uh, have substantiated all 89000 in cost. 
So the total expenses for the four months is six hundred and forty eight thousand four fifty nine. Uh, giving us a uh, net income or positive uh, cash flow so far this year of 126000 So, you know, you see most of the expenses are below the 42% threshold. I didn't really go over the expenses themselves, uh, but overall, you know, it, it, it is down. So that helps a little bit with the reduced revenue, but, uh, you know, we, you know, we're really going to need to watch it in the second half of the year. So that's my report and I ask you to accept it as submitted. Thank you very much, Mr. Aiden. Um, you're muted, Mayor. Okay, thank you. I see what goes on now because I unmuted and it just muted me back again. You got to move your cursor away. Um, I was saying I wanted to um, thank you, Mr. Baton, for that report. And um, I wanted to reiterate what he stated. Our threshold at five months in would be 42%. And for um, most of our expenses are below the 42% threshold. So um, we're keeping it tight because we just don't know what's going to be happening. So we're trying to um, stay as tight as possible. This was a really difficult budget to make um, when we knew we were going to lose so much money, particularly from the um, hall rentals. Um, but we look forward to some things getting better um, soon. And I will ask the um, council, is there a motion to accept the treasurer's report? Councilmember Jackson, I'll make that motion at the treasurer. Okay, is there a second? This is council member Mendoza. I'll second that. That's Mendoza second. Um, is there um, any discussion? Um, yes. <laughs> yes, this is council member Jackson. Mayor, can you move the Mayor. Say it again. Oh, I want, this is council member Jackson. I just want to say, Dan, I really enjoy working with you as you being the town treasurer. I really um, honor how conservative you are. Um, I know the year coming will be challenging because the town did not um, have that much revenue as far as we've written out the town hall. But I can show you, you have a great council that's coming on the board and they're going to have great and wonderful ideas of how we can um, help our budget out. But I really enjoy it uh, working with you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any further discussion? Okay, hearing none, I'll call for a vote. Board one. Board one. Council, Council Member Blue. All right, I'll come around back around. Ward, Ward two. Okay, okay, I see you. Council Member Blue, go ahead. You're muted again. Now? Hello? I hear you now. Aye. Aye. Ward two. Aye. Can you hear me? Yes. Ward three. Aye. Aye. Ward four. Aye. Okay. The mayor votes aye. Oh, okay. Wow. Get used to these meetings. They get more and more challenging along. All right. Moving on, um, Chief. Um, you have a police report for us? Yes, I do. And I hope to be able to share my content. I'm not too good. There we go. Oh, look at that. Um, police report for the uh, month of November 2020. There were uh, 91 calls for service or police uh, initiated incidents in the town during the month. 
that resulted in 19 uh, police reports. Not all of those are actual crimes. Seven um, were crimes. It's uh, six thefts, which are mostly shopliftings at the shopping center and one stolen vehicle, or not one stolen vehicle, one stolen tag from a vehicle in the residential area. There was also an assault uh, that was at the McDonald's in the parking lot that resulted from a traffic dispute, um, did not require hospitalization and no injuries, and um, they'll be filing charges on that. Um, for the month, uh, what's not included in here, and I'll include on future reports, is traffic-related uh, data. There were uh, 23 traffic stops in town, resulting in 54 violations. And violations are anything from an actual citation to an equipment repair order to a warning. And there were four traffic accidents uh, in the town, but nothing uh, serious. Uh, Mayor mentioned that during the month, we... Um, assisted with food distribution in the town. We also distributed uh, 100 uh, prepared meals to residents, um, homes, and also to a few to the homeless and those with uh, special needs. Um, as part of the COVID um, funding, um, we mentioned it a couple times tonight with uh, various uh, food giveaways and uh, uh, gift certificates and things of that nature. We, this year, we, the officers took some of the uh, gift cards, gift certificates and distributed them to not only the homeless in town, but those with special needs. And that program has really worked. It's really gotten them into the hands of folks that really need it. And it uh, has helped some with uh, our, 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 and uh, Councilwoman Blue mentioned uh, mask. We are giving out masks to those uh, who need it. Um, but oftentimes, as, as you see on the news, when folks go into establishments without a mask, there, there can be all kinds of problems. Um, further into the report um, is the uh, the code report. A lot of we share a code officer with uh, the town of Cottage City. A lot of his time in Comer Manor is spent with uh, trash issues from making sure that the trash is uh, placed in proper containers, et cetera. Um, we've just been uh, learned from Bates uh, this week that they will no longer pick up recycling. Our recycling day is Friday and they're no longer gonna pick up recycling. That includes any plastic bags as plastic bags, either in the container or alongside the container. Um, and that's because there, the processors cannot handle plastic bags. It jams up the machines um, and Bates either has to take it to the dump and pay it to be um, dumped with regular trash as opposed to receiving things or they get fined by the, the dump from what I understand. And that is it for my police report. If anybody has any questions. you're muted all right okay I'm sorry i thank you want to thank you for that report i want to reiterate um we've been working really we've been working hard trying to get people to stop putting the plastic you know, putting their recycling in plastic bags and putting plastic bags in um warning that Bates was eventually going to just stop doing it taking it because it's costing them money um so now it will happen so um hopefully um you know, you know, experts out there, but we don't really hear it this time, but it might not happen until it actually. Some, somebody needs to mute. Somebody who's still beach? Okay. All right. Um, by the way, who is still beach? Because that's a... That's a, um, a view I want to be able to have and can't have, but somebody in this room. Okay. Well, anyway, um, is there a motion to accept a police report? 
Does Councilmember Jackson, I'll make that motion to accept the police report. Is there a second? Councilmember Blue, I second that motion to state it. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, the police report is we now. Have any oh, that's right. Any discussion? Yes. Yes, this is Councilmember Jackson. I um, just want to say, Chief, I really enjoy uh, working with you um, through the town. I feel like you're part, you're, you're family to me. You're very approachable to um, the residents. I, like, I love that about you, and I really enjoy um, working with you. Um, suggesting with the um, plastic bags in the recycle, um, the green team, the garden club, we've tried so many angles of hanging door knobs, putting stuff out, so people don't uh, put in flyers and people um, mailboxes over the years um, to not de put um, tr um, plastic bags in the recycle. So I'm hoping going forward, we, I do know we do have two new council um, people that's coming aboard that wants to be a part of the green team. So I'm hoping they'll come with some new and great ideas of how we can tackle this. Uh, one suggestion, I think we should, when we finish the meeting tonight, send them a blast out to our email list, send it out today, which is Tuesday night, send it out Thursday and also send it out Friday morning. Because I can tell you with the new council coming in, they're gonna get bombarded if, if someone resident trash is not picked up on Friday. That's all, thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? I'll say that's that's definitely true, what she said. I mean, but at the end of the day, when we were doing our parking permit program, it was the parking permit, it was, it was getting warnings and tickets is what really caused people to, to step up and do what they need to do. Um, okay, we need to move along. Um, and so um, I'll say all in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, so. That motion passes. Thank you, Chief, very much. Moving quickly, um, I'm hoping that you all have reviewed the final uh, number of of um, the final number of minutes that need to be that needed to be um, completed. That brings us completely up to date with our minutes. And um, right now, we have minutes for September 1st workshop, September the 22nd public hearing. On uh, Black Lives Matter, um, September the 22nd, uh, town meeting, October the 6th, work session, October the 13th, town meeting, November the 4th, work session, October the 10th, town meeting, December 1st, work session. That will bring us up to date. Um, it'd be great if we could um, motion to approve these as a, a grouping, um, barring any, um, um, barring any uh, errors. Is there a motion for us to approve these minutes? Councilmember Jackson, I'll make that motion to approve the following minutes. September 1st, September the 1st. Um, second. Hello, is there a second? Council Member Blue, a second that motion to state of mayor. Okay, any discussion? Just notice that um, in the minutes, they have a uh, L as my middle name. Just that, that can, that's just a typo. That can just be taken out. Okay, take a look at that. We'll take a look and fix it. Any further discussion? Okay, I'm going to call for a vote. Ward one? Aye. Aye. Or two. Aye. Um, Councilmember Bout. Okay. Or three. Or three. Where'd you go? Aye, Mayor. Oh, okay. 
Um, board four. Aye. And the mayor, the mayor votes aye. All right. Thank you. Um, I, if, if it's necessary for any report, um, if it, anybody wants to make a very, very short report, um, starting with any seniors report, um, I will report in terms of the seniors that um, the chief sort of spoke to what we've been doing. We call them um, weekly. Renee um, keeps an eye on uh, what's going on. We do welfare checks um, if we don't hear from them um, and um, try to do whatever we can in order to make sure that they have things they need. Um, is there a garden club report? Um, is Teresa Epps on? Okay, um, Council Member Jackson, do you know about anything going on with the garden club? Um, we just, um, last month, the garden um, members put up the shed and also the public works um, finished with putting up the roof on the sheds. Just wanna thank everybody that came out to support us with that. Um, just wanna say thank you to um, Dorita Epps and also um, Julianne Faye. They also, they get a group of people in town and they keep it seated and staying on top of it. So uh, we did have eggnog in the garden outside of social distance. Um, everybody had masks. Um, it was very good conversation. Um, the attendance was very low because of the COVID. Um, just want to thank everyone that attended. Um, I guess our next meeting in January will be virtual. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, okay, thing I'm from the green team. May I have no report? I've met since um, the COVID, but uh, we do have new members that want to step up and carry the green team on. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, for the recommendation report, um, I'll just, I mean, I basically reported out what we're getting ready to do. With the, we'll have um, gift cards and um, toys for the kids to grab and go, um, like we did for Halloween. And also we're gonna have a puppet show, um, which everybody should be getting that information. Um, no reminders, I think um, Saturday is the Christmas, Saturday is the toys, toy giveaway. And um, I believe it's next Tuesday is the puppet show at five o'clock. Mayor, I can chime in. Okay. I chime in for a minute, Mayor. For the recreation report, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, the gingerbread house activity is December the 19th at 4 p.m. On December 21st is our puppet play, which is at 5 p.m which would be virtual and the gingerbread is virtual. The flyers have been sent out with the link so everyone can um, join in. And the toy distribution is from 2 to 6 p.m. on December 23rd. We've sent um, other flyers out to pick up the gingerbread kits, which would be this Friday um, between two and six also. Those are our events that's um, coming up. Okay, thank you very much for that information. Um, okay, so do I skip that one right now? Okay, um, so last item before we go and we do our a big transition is something that we just have to do. I'm so sorry, guys, um, because um, we're working on a project to, to put permeable pavers on North Road, and um, we're down to the wire in the last minute of what has to get out because our grant ends on December 31st. And so this council has to do this um, as we complete, uh, we've been completing pieces of the project. So I'm gonna leave it to uh, Mr. Baden to explain um, the situation as it stands as quickly as you can. All right, well, I think most of the council or all the council is aware 
of the project itself. Um, the town was awarded $144,563.10 community development block grant funds uh, to do street sidewalk improvements within the town. We completed 59,634 of that doing curb gutter sidewalk work and street work throughout the town last year, which left us $84,929 uh, to finish up uh, the project. The council agreed to uh, issue a contract to EdTech engineers in the amount of $12,400 a couple months ago in order to design uh, a permeable paver project uh, at Newark Road and 40th Avenue, right there uh, where the community signboard is at that intersection. Based on that design, we've put it out to, to a couple different companies, one to the company that did the existing work and uh, another to a company called Capital Hardscapes that specializes in the permeable paver system that we're looking to put in there. Um, the uh, Capital Hardscapes came back with a $92,200 amount uh, that coupled with the $12,400 for the engineering and some other costs, uh, small costs for soils testing of a thousand, uh, striping of the intersection of a thousand, and permit uh, through the county of $538 brings the cost of the project to 107138 so, as I had stated at the beginning, we have $84,929 available. We knew that the project was going to be in excess of that when we approved the contract for the engineer. Uh, so basically, you know, the town would need to come up with about $22,209 in order to proceed with the project. So I sent out to everyone this morning, all the new council members were copied on the email as well, uh, that laid out the uh, motions that would be needed uh, in order to move forward. And I, I would like to point out that, you know, the funds were supposed to be expended by December 31st. Um, I believe we should be able to get a further extension on that. Uh, I sent an email to the county to ask them that last evening, and I've not heard back from them at this point. So the motions would be contingent upon uh, the county agreeing to extend the use of those funds probably to the end of March. So um, you know, at this point, I'll share my screen. Uh, this was the email that I sent this morning with the two motions on it. Uh, the first one would be to approve the contract with Capital Hardscapes in the amount of $92,200 for the permeable pavers of 40th Avenue and Newark Road. And then we would need to approve the following budget adjustments. So we've never, allocated in this fiscal year the additional monies for the grant it was actually in last fiscal year's budget we didn't use it so it carried over but the budget time we didn't know that so we would need to allocate eighty four thousand nine hundred and twenty nine dollars as a revenue item for the cdbg py which is plan year 43 grant transfer twenty two thousand two hundred nine dollars from unreserved funds and the total of those two would equal the amount of 107138 which would be the expenditure account permeable paver in order to do the project. And again, the breakdown of the cost that I summarized a couple minutes ago is down below again for your reference, totals the 107138 So hopefully that's a thorough overview of how we got to this point and what we need to do going forward. And I'd leave it to you to decide what you would like to do at this point. Okay, council members, um, and we have spent um, some money on this project. Um, and so, I mean, oh, get it. Is something that we've been working on for a long time, trying to um, um, be, be a sustainable community, and it's the first step. 
So is there a motion um, to um, approve the yes, contract for Capital Hearts Escapes? Yes, Council Member Blue, I make that motion and say it. Is there a second? Council Member Jackson. Okay, in discussion. Um, I just want to um, say, um, Mr. Payton, I want to ask Mr. Payton, um, if for some reason the county doesn't move us moving forward, um, what, what what are you considering alternatively that we do? Um, I don't think we have any alternative. Uh, you know, it's like, you know, the money goes back to uh, the uh, Department of Housing and Community Development. Um, you know, they've tried to work with us. You know, the reason that we have not been able to expend it by the end of the year is because of the permit process in the county, which is difficult in normal times, and it's extra difficult during COVID times when everyone's working remotely. So hopefully, you know, they understand that. They've actually been following up with DPI on their behalf so they know the status of the permit. Um, you know, hopefully the permit will be, uh, as of this morning, it was in final review with the uh, supervisor of the department that's looking for it. So satisfied. The requirements of the permit. I believe you have a reasonable argument, no doubt, no doubt about that. I'm just saying that we're taking a vote to approve a contract and without any contingencies. So that's, I'm being very, very much more technical than just, yeah, we hope. Right. Well, we, we won't sign the contract until we know that we have the funding available still. But this is the last meeting with the current council who's most familiar with this. So, you know, I mean, if you want to amend the motion to uh, say contingent upon county funding, uh, that would probably be sufficient. Um, will the maker of the motion consider um, adding that contingency onto your motion? Yes, Council Member Blue. Okay, and the second accepts that? Yes, Council Member Jackson. So, um, any other discussion? Thank you, Mr. Baden. I'll call uh, for a vote. Ward one. Aye. Ward two. You're, mu you're muted. Ward three. Okay, Aye. Ward two. Ward three. Aye. Aye. Ward four. Aye. All right. Okay. And the mayor votes aye. I thank you all very much for that. That will be your last vote. No, um, as no, council no, members. No, no. Uh, no, we need we need. Oh money. no! Oh, that's right. <laughs> we need money. <laughs> all right. All right. One. One more. One more. Okay. So. Is there a motion um, to include $84,929 as a revenue um, from CDBG line item, uh, make a trans transfer $22,209 from unreserved and allocate $107,138 for the permeable paper expenses by the line item shown here? Is there? Council member Blue will make the motion to it. A second. Member Jackson. Oh. Okay. Um, yes, it's gonna look so nice when this is done. This is done. It's gonna look really nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for that. Um I I will call for vote one. Aye. Four two. Aye. Four three. Aye. Four. Aye. All right. Aye. Mayor, Mayor votes aye. Okay. So now you have officially made your last vote. Uh, I thank y'all for your service. Um, that being the next item on the the, the um, on the agenda is offering a farewell um, to a group of people who I have totally um, enjoyed working with.
Um, we've done a, a lot of things together, bringing forth the garden club, doing the work of the green team, um, which has been, you know, uh, working on getting our sustainable Maryland certification, um, uh, you know, bringing folks together um, and making sure that certain changes are made and not just by the council, but bringing people along in the um, community um, to work on things. I, I I appreciate your counsel when that is necessary. Um, I appreciate um, your um, candidness um, when that was necessary. Um, and I appreciate you all having been willing to work together for us to get positive outcomes. Um, and I, I, I just appreciate um, your participation um, beyond the town onto other organizations that um, Coma Manor could be heard and um, to assure that Coleman Manor could be heard. And I um, I thank you for um, your service. So I wanna say personally, thank you to council member Lou. I will, we will continue to, we will continue to, to try to get our Newton Street Park renamed to, um, renamed to, um, be council, I mean, to be Blues Park. All right, we're gonna keep on working on that. I wanna personally thank Council Member Bowden. Um, notably, we're gonna make sure to continue to have an ice cream truck for the grandson. <laughs> council Member Jackson, um, I really wanna thank you um, for just just your clear understanding, your clear way of speaking and telling us, you know, what we need to hear, being completely honest and never holding back and just being there, listening and hearing what's being said, but also making sure that you clearly understand it before moving forward. And I really thank you um, for that very much. I am sure we will continue to work together. I want to go ahead and show you all your 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 gifts to go. Can you see them? Yeah. So they're nice, beautiful box um, for Lewis and Blue. 28 years of service for Council Member Batten. Eight, eight years of service. And Council Member Jackson for your 10 years of service. So we'll have these delivered to your homes for you to enjoy personally, okay? Let's do, let's all clap and give them. <laughs> and we, also have, we also have for you um, a certificate for you to hang on the wall, which also notes for your service as well. So thank y'all very much and any any um, closing words or remarks that you would like to make? Mayor. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Barr. When you're, uh, would you please allow me a couple moments to speak when you're uh, finished? For this, before the swearing in. Yes. Yeah. After uh, comments from the council? As part of the comments. I can hear you. Beg your pardon. Can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a few things I, I would like to say if I could be granted the opportunity. Can't really, can't really hear you. But um, let me go ahead. Um, council members, um, would like to say anything before we move on to the swearing in. Can Can I say something? You can, but yeah. All right, ladies. Um, when I joined the council back in 2016, you all have shown me so much support and guidance, and Throughout, throughout the four years. So 
I hope that um, these next four years with the new council members now, that I can, um, I have the motivation and patience to move forward. I thank you all and appreciate you ladies. Um, this is council member Jackson. Thank you so much, um, Melinda. I um, just wanna say mayor um, of the town, thank you so much, Platt. Like I said before, this is a humble experience. It was a learning experience. I really enjoyed it. Um, I can't wait to show my grandbaby Gia, my plats and the things that her grandma has, has done, done in the community. I'm gonna miss you all. Also you too, also Mr. Um, Barr. I know you wanna say a few words, but I will miss you all. Thank you. Well, th thank you, Council Member Jackson. Um, to me, Anne Blue, um, and to Vivian Jackson and to Cynthia Bowden, I want to say thank you. Thank you for coming to the town um, and serving as council members. Attentive, interested, participatory. Um, it has been my honor to serve you. Uh, it has been my uh, pleasure to be friends with you. It is my memory that I will take with me of three excellent public servants who worked very hard, learned an awful lot, and are examples for everyone who comes after them in the chairs that they sat to what a council member should be. I can't be prouder of any of you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Barr, I appreciate that. Um, Chief or um, Chief or Dan, uh, anyone do you want to share? Yep, I'd just like to <clears throat> echo yeah, what John Barr had said. I think he said it very well. Um, you know, and also the mayor, you know, I've enjoyed working with this council. Uh, when there's been contention, you know, it was discussed professionally, which, you know, is appreciated. We didn't agree on everything, but, you know, we came together in the end and continued on. So for all three of you, I enjoyed working with you and look forward to seeing you around uh, in the future. I don't think this is goodbye, but it's goodbye for now on the council. And I wish you all the best of luck. Yeah. Thanks. Mayor, can I say something? Mayor, may I say something, please? Yeah. Okay, I want to thank the uh, council for your tenure, your support, the good times we've had, all of your professionalism, the contributions, and your continued support that each of you have provided that you would give as far as the recreation events and activities. I love you all. Enjoy this time with new avenues you're doing, Vivian with your granddaughter and Blue with your time and Cynthia with your time. I just thank you all for uh, the great relationship that we had and I wish you all well. And this is Chief, if I could kind of echo all that. And uh, it's been a pleasure working with uh, each of you. And I want to especially mention to Miss Blue, um, we were adding up the years the other day and had to get out our calculator and all that and came up with 28, which is really commendable. And I think I heard somewhere along the line that her, she is either the longest serving or one, at least one of the longest serving uh, elected officials in Prince George's County and uh, was recognized by the MML not too long ago for that. But uh, Again, thank you all for your service. Thank you. Okay. Thank you all very much. Um, 
everybody. Um, take some rest, you know, step to the side. I, I want to appreciate you guys for spending these extra um, seven months that you weren't supposed to have to be here if you weren't going to be here. But um, I appreciate y'all stepping up to the plate and keeping us going. Well, do. And with that being said, it is time for us to swear in some new council members. Um, council elect. Um, is going to be sworn in outdoors. Okay. He has been on one as um, COVID. And so he's happy to be outside to do this. Um, I want to thank um, the um, clerk, the uh, clerk of the court for being here. Thank you all very much. Um, you mind saying your names are? Mayor, you're muted again. Okay, I was thinking, I was thinking the clerk, uh, um, circuit court being here and for what they do and the fact that they have to come in person. And um, I was looking for Chuck, are you here? Can you see if he's outside? He's outside. Hi, Mayor. I'm here. Oh, cool. Okay. I'm outside. Gonna, I'm um, okay. We're going to send um, the clerk out to where you in and um, take a little video. And um, you're all ready to go? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Here we go. Hey. I think sounds like it's on its last leg. Mayor. Mayor Barrow. Um, Mr. Barr, I think she's outside. Yes. Um, yes. Mayor Barrow, there should be some recording of audio or audio and video of the of the swearing in. I can't I can't understand what you're saying. I said there should be some audio. Can we get a mic? Can we get a mic out here? Where's Rick? Oh, Rick. Can we get him? Uh, or are these mics hot? She can speak into the mic. The, the size of this room makes it difficult sometimes. Just. You, you just grab um, one of those mics. Uh-huh. Because you guys say my uh, 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 u
lot of contact with people. So we bring them up individually.
Okay, can everybody unmute for a second and let's give a hand to new council member, Bo. Yay! Yay! Okay, moving on, we're going to go. Let's move on to what one, Malik Hart. I, I say your name, you solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and that I will be faithful, and very true allegiance to the state of America, and support the Constitution of all and that I will, to the best of my skill and judgment, diligently and faithfully, without partiality or prejudice, execute the office of Council Member Ward 1 for the town of Hope Barbara, according to the Constitution and laws of the state. Okay, Council Member um, Harding, you may come take a seat. Council Member Hobbs, you may come take a seat. <laughs> All right, moving on to Council Member Mendoza. Let's do this again. Yes. I. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, Amanda. Oh. 
Okay, thank you all so very much. <laughs> okay, awesome. So now we are at new council. Are you all? <laughs> okay, um, um, just to let you know, Doug, your cards are here. <laughs> if you want to come up and get your cards. And um, and you, your emails should be set up already, so you can get started with that. Um, what I want to do is okay, ask you each if you would like to make your own comments. Go ahead. All right, thank you. Hey. <laughs> the mic's. Thank you. Um, I'd like to thank everyone who came to It's a great turnout at the election. Thank you um, for voting for me. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to representing you all, whether you voted for me or not. And um, looking forward to you guys being here at the very head of the council. I'd like to thank the council, the outgoing council. You know, I had a pleasure to work there as a new team meeting. And um, thank you for the trust. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> that's that's the name. Good evening, everyone. I just want to um, thank the school mayor as a whole, especially to everyone that came out to vote. Um, to the outgoing council, you all are the best. Um, and to the new council, um, just even the, the participation in the election this year was awesome to see. I just want to, I'm just excited for the, this, the four years that are ahead. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, I'm uh, ask uh, Delegate Fennell if she would like to um, offer some words to the new council. Thank you, thank you, Mayor. First of all, thank you so much. Um, um, I start with Ward One, uh, Malik Harding, uh, Councilmember Harding. Um, very proud of you. You have done well. You interned for me in uh, in Annapolis, and you learned a lot. And you have some big shoes to fill, but I know you will do well and uh, work with Anne and reach back because guess what? History is there. And um, just want to say you just keep on moving forward. Um, Ward 2, uh, Irina, it was a pleasure meeting you on Saturday. Uh, we had a great conversation. I know that you will do wonderful and do great things for the town of Coma Manor. And just always know that, you know, you have... Um, um, history that is in the town that you can reach back to and talk to, and we're here for you. Um, also, um, council member, um, Doug Bowles, um, who's my representative, council member, uh, representative, congratulations. I remember the first time that had an opportunity to meet you, uh, when Miss Blue had called in reference to a meeting, um, we came to the town hall and, and I told you, you know, to be able to help, um, join the club and uh, get involved and you did. 
So I look forward to um, you serving me as my council member. And also, yet again, there's a lot of history. Reach back to be able to talk to and give us a call. Give me a call. Vivian is there. Council member Jackson, who will always be a council member, is there. And you have the mayor. And then you have um, uh, council member Mendoza. Congratulations on your reelection. Um, as we know, you all know I live here. Um, you can reach um, out to me. Um, and I'm um, just a phone call and a house away, a couple houses away. Uh, so just um, reach back out. And I look forward to uh, making sure that I be, um, give each and every one of you a proclamation, even the outgoing council member for their outstanding services. Mayor, if you can have someone um, to email um, myself, and I know the senator, um, the, the tenure of the outgoing council members and their addresses and the new uh, council member that's um, elected and their address, please um, do so. And I wish we could be, I could be there in person to be able to uh, present these uh, proclamation. But of course, because of the COVID-19, we can't. But as you can see, the senator and I stayed and we wanted to just say congratulations to all. We all are winners when we all won. And this town is just a jewel. So thank you. Thank you so much for uh, putting yourself out there to serve and thank each and every one of the former council members that will always be council members for serving. Thank you so much. And I love you all. It's good to see everyone too, John and Dan, all of you and Tracy and everybody that's online. Thank you so much, Mayor, for giving me this opportunity to speak. I'm sorry. Whoa, what happened here? I'm sorry. I was talking to mute again. I wanted to say thank you to um, Mayor Fennell, Delegate Fennell. We're sitting in the room named for her in a building. She made sure it happened, and uh, we appreciate you and always love to hear your wisdom. And Senator um, Augustine, would you like to say some words to our new council? I would. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you again so much for your service and all that you do um, for the people of the town. And, I, you know, I would just say congratulations to, to all of the folks. And I do also want to call the name, obviously, uh, Council Member Lois Blue, who ran for office, um, Katrina Paxton, who also ran for office, and Anthony Mills, <clears throat> who ran for office. And while they weren't um, successful, uh, it takes a lot to just raise your hand and say you want to serve your your community, and and they did that, and they are to be commended for that. Um, I know that they also they they've demonstrated they've got a commitment to the town, and I know that mayor and council you will look to them as a resource because we know there's a lot more work to do than what can be done just by the council members themselves uh, in order to make the town successful. And so I congratulate them for that, and then of course I want to congratulate. The new council members, Council Member Harding, um, who I know and have had an opportunity, wonderful opportunity to work with over the years and to watch him grow um, as a person. So I'm very excited to see the things that he is going to do um, in, in Ward 1. Council Member Hobbs and Council Member Bowles, I have not yet had the opportunity to meet you, but I really do look forward to working with you, being a resource um, for you um, and for us to be able to work together. And Council Member Mendoza, as always, um, you're just such a tremendous asset to the town, an ongoing asset, um, you and your family. And I'm really excited that you all will be there uh, working together uh, for the betterment of the town uh, in the coming years. And I look to be a resource and be as helpful as I can be, along with council, um, along with um, Delegate Fennell and the team, um, in order to just be a resource and work together. So congratulations. Really look forward to working with you and, and you all. You just to be commended for stepping up and stepping forward for your community. Thank you. Thank you for those kind words. Um, they're all here touching their heart and being warmed by um, all the words you have. I so appreciate you guys are the best. Y'all hang out, hung out for a meeting. But, you know, sometimes pull this town meeting, right? <laughs> uh, but great. Thank you for that so much. <laughs> Okay, um, so getting close to the end of what we need to do, um, I um, want to offer all of you as well. Um,
that you might give out for grocery cards, someone in your ward. And um, once we're finished, I got you some envelopes there for you to separate them. And we've got Aldi's, Compare Food, and, and Gift Shop. So when we finish, you can come and pick up whichever ones work for you um, in terms of who you think might need what. Um, so we'll do that. So the next order of business is um, after every election, we have to select, a, I have to select a mayor pro temp person. Is If I'm out of town, when I reach out to of what it, we're small. So the way this works for me anyway, is like it's all about that person, that person. We get real individual with people, and I do in particular. So um, if that if I'm if I'm absent, I would be expecting that mayor pro tem to be that up close and personal with someone um, as well, and helping them through whatever it is that they have to go through. So I am going to make that selection. There is a logically smart selection that I make here, and I would like to ask Councilmember Mendoza if you would be willing to be my mayor pro tip. Okay. If y'all can't hear her, she just said she would be honored. So I would say I. This is an appointment, so I will. Um, Mr. Bar do a swearing in, do we? to swear her in. She's appointed. She is appointed. She's been appointed. She's appointed. She's appointed. Okay. Council. All right. Cool. Does okay. Well, I officially Mendoza. appoint Council Member Mendoza as my mayor pro temp. So everybody give her a hand. Yay! <laughs> okay. All right, next item is that we will have to, um, we, we have a way that um, internal controls um, that two members of the board, um, including myself, um, would be signers um, and two members of the board would be auditors who would audit the bank statements. So when the bank statements come in, the bank statements come in sealed and whoever on the audit committee they, they go through and look at every line item, question is memos right, um, why did this place get paid, you know, does this make sense, and, and there's a little, you know, something for you to ask the questions, and Mr. Baton would respond to any questions that are had. So every, the signers get to see the checks because they um, are looking at them, with the backup and everything, and then the auditors get to see the bank statements to see whatever went through. So I am currently on the audit committee. Um, and I like being on the audit committee. I am not a check signer. Um, I, I tend to, I, um, wherever I am in a leadership position, I think to have someone else sign. So if there's no idea that there could be something that's non-transparent. Um, so I generally do not sign checks um, in, a, in, a, in this role. So now currently, I don't know if you want to switch up because you currently on the audit committee too. Four years. <laughs> yes. So, so you can become a signer. Okay. So between the two of you, which one of you want to be audit or sign? You do it your signature. Okay. Right, so we all get to look and see very specifically what's going on in this door. And that's worked really, really well. Um, I, that is the last piece of business that we need to do as of this evening. I will ask the, the audience here, is there any citizen comments that you want to make? Anybody? I would like okay. to make a comment, Mayor. I would like to make a comment to the new council. I'm also a resident here in Coma Manor, and I'm an employee at the town of Coma Manor. And I just want to welcome you all. I look forward to working with you all. Um, 
I know Malik from a little goober when we used to campaign um, for Diana Fennell. And I look forward to meeting, you know, Miss Irene, Council Member Hobbs, Council Member Bowes, as we move forward in the Recreation Department. Congratulations to you, Melinda. Congratulations to you all. And God bless you. And just stay focused. Thank you very much. Um, and um, you guys are fine. Renee. On top. I want to say, um, personally, of course, I've known um, Malik like for, forever, ever, as an ever, ever, and um, appreciate all the work that you've done and being on the youth council and and uh, working with uh, all of the things that we we need to do. <laughs> all the time, everything like this. I mean, that's being in it, and I love seeing you in it right now. I want to tell you, it means so much um, to see folks stepping forward and starting to move, especially a younger a, a younger group in um, to the community. Um, I remember years ago, um, Mayor um, Beverly from North Brentwood, um, when I first came in, and um, she she would say. I don't know when y'all young people need to start stepping up and get coming up to the ladder now. I haven't I, I done this enough. I haven't done this for the longest time. It's like, come on now. And she would be right on you. I'm like, okay, I'm stepping. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And so I look forward to all of the things that you can contribute. Um, I want to say to um, Irina, um, I love the fact that you moved in town and you got busy right away working on the green team. I mean, I know traveling in school and all of those things that you had to go on. I was actually surprised when you said you were going to run um, because I thought, well, that's great because, you know, you've been involved and, um, and connected. Um, I think you even did some um, some dumpster diving uh, for <laughs> in order to find out whether or not the, council, the, the shopping center was recycling. And I appreciate your being um, so involved in that and so forth. Sounds I want to say to you, Hello. I want to say to um, Council Member Powell mm -hmm. that um, Bose, Bose, that um, you might not realize it, um, but you have no idea how much I appreciate how you keep us informed. And um, I like hearing what's going on, and I like hearing suggestions on how we make things better. And um, it may be hard sometimes to get to whatever needs to get, get gotten to, but we can't get to anything if nobody's talking to us. And and I, I appreciate you um, um, traveling around the town and and um, talking to people and getting to know what's going on. And and I look forward to really working with you as well. And um, Ben, you, you've been there to hear from us, and I'm looking forward to more work um, with you. Um, actually, right down in the nitty gritty technical part of things. And so, for Council Member Mendoza, what can I say? Like Malik, I've known you for almost ever, 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 ever. Maybe him a little bit longer. But um, it, it's um, family. It's family here. And I love seeing the family of who grew up here to be here and work with us. And um, we still, you still owe us an international. Um, event you know yeah i'm looking i'm looking forward to all the kind of events um yeah because you I mean her family they do like this crazy thing at christmas time i mean like so cool and usually streams it onto um facebook or something and I thought, um, I don't know if it was your mom or, or one of your parents that asked, could they come 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 here? I'm like, that would be awesome to bring, you know, all of that share, whatever. And then COVID, you know, came in and acted up, out and all that, <laughs> right? But um, I'm looking, I mean, it's it's been a joy working with you. Um, and um, if you guys don't know, um, Melinda um, is on the MML board. And um, also um, tell them her credentials. PGCMA. Uh -huh. 
Are you still on the board? Not on the board. Oh, okay, you were on, you were, right. Conference committee? Mm -hmm. But you were on the board last year, right? Yes. All right. Okay. Uh -huh, I thought so. And she's been involved in Prince George's Municipal Association for um, almost all the time in office. <laughs> Uh, I will tell you, though, I mean, in terms of us connecting and being involved with other um, places, what we talk with um, oh, Anacostia Church Heritage Area, um, I had tended to be on that board, uh, particularly when I was on the council, but it became really hard when I became mayor. So we haven't had a stronger connection with that group, and so it would be great to have somebody who's interested in the sustainability of the river and um, those those things. Um, who might be interested when I was I was on that board um, for several years um, as the treasurer. I love that board. I mean, the people, I mean, I just love that board, it, the group and, and how they learned about things and, and how to put things together and stuff like that. A lot of them are from the EPA. So if anybody's interested, I would be happy to make introductions in order to see if somebody's interested. Um, and working more closely um, with the, that's the Anacostia Watershed Society, that's what I was talking about. For ASA, which is the Anacostia Trail Heritage Area, I had been on that board too at one point when I was on the council. And, um, and that group we need to get that close to again. Um, they are looking at doing a Dueling Creek Trail. That, um, and there's like three different ways they would do it, but come up through cut through around Kearney Road and cut back over into the other trail, into the ball fields. And um, hopefully that'll happen. I really think that's gonna happen. I'm serious about that. Um, another group is the Port Towns Community Development Corporation. Now, Irina is on that board, but the board is, is, is faltering and we need to bring that back together again. So I'm glad you're on the council. I'm gonna help with whatever needs to be done for us to build the board back. And, you know, we have, um, Doretha Epps is also um, on the board as well here, and on the board. Um, Kester, oh, it's a hard name to say for me. No. Oh, okay. But I thought we had a good number of common matter people on that board, so we can work together to bring that back in. Um, so, um, actually, the last thing, and I didn't put on here, is I would like for us to schedule an orientation and uh, to go over with the staff, let all of them tell you kind of what they do and, and how they work things out. You know, right now we have, from the admin staff, we have one person working per day. So, um, and then um, right now they're going to double back and we're going to open on Thursdays again. So, because of COVID, there's one person in the admin office, besides maybe me. Um, um, public works works every day and the police work every day. Um, the police clerk comes in three days a week, but he's working from home. I mean, two, three days a week, but he's working from home the other two days. So, um, um, we do a lot of food distribution <laughs> and the police help us a whole lot with that food distribution, but everything we try to do is non-contact, you know, even with the food, you know, in other places you see people driving up and they're putting in the car or window, whatever, but we collect data because we want to know. Um, and so they, we collect the data from, from the, um, if you guys ever came to the gym in the back, you ring the bell in order for them to let you in. So we collect all the data we need right there at the little um, microphone. And um, and that's how we can learn. It is, that's how come we have early, a very extensive email list and, and very extensive um, text messaging um, system, but we also learn happening in people's families and, and we mark who, who we know needs so when we get when we get packages that's not that much we can go directly to who we know are the ones that need it the most and um so i'm wondering is thursday with thursday work for you guys um for a orientation sort of with all leads hmm. Uh, well, I would say yeah, we can just make it a WebEx. Wait a minute, Doug said something. Go ahead. 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just saying that Thursday would work fine for me. Awesome. So what time would be a good time? Are people available during the daytime? Yeah, this Thursday. Uh, let me let me check because I want uh, Mr. Baden to bar to uh, Mr. Bar and Mr. Baden would y'all be able to join a call a call a, a WebEx a WebEx on um, Thursday. I'd be available anytime right. after eleven. Okay. That was like three o'clock. Three o'clock on Thursday. And it's gonna be a it's gonna be um a WebEx meeting, so I mean you can be anywhere. Yeah. Uh huh. Mayor, you. Mayor, it's John Barr. I'm available. Thank, thank you, Mr. Barr. And she, are you available? Yes, three o'clock is fine. Three o'clock. We got. It. Mayor, how long so, do you think this will take? I'm sorry, Mr. Barr? How long do you think we should reserve time? Say it again. How long do you think this meeting will take? Oh, the time. Um, Two hours, three hours. <laughs> how many should we get, uh, a block off our calendars? I would say an hour, um, maybe a little bit longer. You know, I would like to go over some longer history of the of the town, so that you all are aware what the history of the town is behind when you got here, and um, and have each have the chief talk about what he sees, what's going on, what's happening, how he wants to communicate with us, and. Um, over um, staff, particularly Kayla and and um, Renee, to say you know kind of what they do. Um, but you know, I would love for and three o'clock is good because I would love for all of them to be able to just say what they do and and how they relate to the town and get to know you. And um, and then also, I I've left for you guys the charter um, there, so you have a hard copy of the charter. You can look what literally is written as the council members duties and responsibilities and um and also the mayor's um duties and responsibilities um strong mayor government so the mayor's the um chief officer in town. and so um it's important for us all you know to work together i am very like super open and what i like to hear is when you have ideas and thoughts of something that you want to say happen that I'm working with in here to help you make it happen, you know, with what's the staff and so forth like that. So um, we'll see. I mean, I would say try not to tie it to one to go a little bit longer. If you can be available for that, that would be great. Okay. Well, does anybody have anything else that needs to be said? Yes, Mayor, mm -hmm. I have something to say. On behalf of the on behalf of the recreation department, I would um, like to establish a resident council board and I'm asking for all of um, the council members to attend our meetings. Let's start something that can be more productive. I know I was listening to um, council member Harding's um, presentation or at his forum and he was really interested in the concerns with helping the youth and the betterment of growth for our teens. And I would just wish that um, all the council members will get together do our resident council and everyone would be involved and get their um, residents involved. And that would be my goal for 2021. If we can all pull together and get more of our residents involved and let's establish a great resident council board.
All right. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. Uh, no, I'm not muted. Mayor, I got one question. Uh, who was yes. the other signer? Who was authorized as the other tech signer? I heard Mendoza. I didn't hear one of the new council members who that would be. Harding. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yes. Congratulations and welcome. We're here. All right. Yay. Yay. Is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? Member Harding makes a motion to adjourn the meeting. Council Member Hart second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Any aye. opposed? <laughs> <laughs> okay, duh. Thank you. All right. First vote. First vote. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a great evening. This meeting is now adjourned. Good night, Good night. Bye, everyone. Stay safe. Good night, Good night everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night.